For several years, something mysterious has been plaguing sea otter populations off the coast of California. The animal may have seizures, it may shake, it may act like it's weak, um, it may not seem like it's very aware of its surroundings, it may seem to have problems um, bringing food to its mouth. It's those kinds of things that tip us off that something isn't quite right with this animal. These symptoms and other research data point in part to an unlikely culprit, a parasite that causes toxoplasmosis. The first big surprise for us was how common infection really was. Uh, what we found was that about four out of every ten live otters that we tested actually had antibodies to the parasite. Good boy. And even more surprising was a link to human population centers, where the parasite is transported by freshwater runoff. A University of California study confirmed that otters sampled near major streams and rivers were almost three times more likely to test positive for the parasite than those living away from fresh water. Other factors could also be responsible. Everything from other parasites and diseases to pollution and pesticides. The bottom line right now is it remains an open question. Sea otters eat about 25% of their body weight in shellfish and other invertebrates every day. Since people eat some of the same seafoods, this poses the question of how humans might be affected, sending a warning to a fishing industry that the state heavily depends on. Hey, Morgan. Hey, Wick. Hi, bud. It's also important to remember that this is not just about saving sea otters. That's important but it's about saving marine ecosystems because the organisms that we're seeing have significant implications for human health and it has importance for the people of California and the people of the world that want to enjoy and utilize the Pacific Coast. And that is what is raising the stakes. What you think, huh? Making the effort to save the sea otters a California state priority.